why doesn't the art world perceive this as high art? Because they're a bunch of shit bags, and it's probably not art. But probably one of those two or both. These aren't toys in the traditional sense. They're not meant to be played with by kids. They're not meant to be handled. They're, they are art objects. You know, they are art by some, by most practical definitions. They're just not embraced by the art world. I met the Suck Lord probably four or five years ago at an art show, and I've interviewed him several times. We've hung out a bunch. We've done gallery shows with him. So over the last few years, you know, we've worked together quite a bit. Suck Lord is part of the foundation of what makes this art form amazing. I like doing this shit, and, you know, I'm not good at anything else. No one will give me a job, so I have to make this crap, and I need to fucking live. And that's what it is, you know? I like it well enough, but you know, I gotta get paid, and I'd rather get paid doing something that I like to do. What's the next question? Do you also wanna break down walls around cannabis? Of course, I mean, I'm a daily cannabis user, so sure, it's like I, I get angry sometimes when I read about just the stupid, wasteful shit that the governments and the, the cops do to stop people from using it and just the moronic attitudes that go around it. It's called a drug, you know, when it's really just a fucking plant. It's fucking just as stupid as anything else. Um, I hate to admit it, but I didn't really necessarily realize that all this, you know, wall breaking downage needed to happen until you guys came around and started talking about it. I think in a lot of ways I may be guilty of not thinking about it because I smoke pot all the time every day without consequence, at least, you know, as far as social judgment. I'm in the art world or I'm on, a, I'm on the downtown scene where everybody smokes pot, I'm in a profession where nobody gives a fuck about it, and I don't have to answer to anybody in life, so I can do whatever I want. I know a lot of other people don't find it quite as easy to use pot the way they want to. They drug test you, or you work, work in some sort of culture that doesn't support it, and no one around you smokes it, or you know, maybe you're a street kid, you know, and the way it comes to you is through more sort of dubious channels than some clean cut delivery guy showing up to your house with a box of fucking 20 different marijuana products. You know, these kids are getting shit from the cops and people's lives are being destroyed in certain states because of this and that's fucked up. So sure, I'm against that in principle. I'm against stupid shit across the board. People who produce this stuff and consume it often, they know what they what the shit does. And it's like, I love when you go to the clinic and it says, like, strawberry dickhole. Like, oh, produces a nice fluffy body high with like, no, I mean, a lot of those descriptions are a bit vague, but it's like definitely knowing the difference, at least between like indica and stativa is a big, is a big thing. You know, I never even used to ever think of that. I mean, everybody knows pot makes you more creative, which I don't think it does. I think it allows creativity to happen. It doesn't make you creative. He's really easy to work with. He's fun to work with. He definitely is a character and he has an edge, but that's what makes him unique. I would advise them not to do it in the first place, but if you absolutely must, um, I don't know, make good shit. <laughs>